Are you having issues with your website's outgoing emails? Maybe you have an e-commerce website and your users are not getting their mail. They're running up in spam, you know, that can be quite a hassle. Well, good thing there's an easy fix for this. Within WordPress, you can install a SMTP plugin, which makes it so all your outgoing mails follow the simple mail transfer protocol, which means all your website's outgoing emails will be sent properly and they won't be flagged by other mailers. Let's see how to do it. But before we do, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. All right, so we're going to start off by installing a new plugin. Go to plugins, add new, then search for SMTP. This right here is the plugin. Simply click on install, then activate. Once activated, click on refresh now, then you'll be redirected to WP Mail's setup wizard. Simply click on get started. So here you'll have to choose your SMTP mailer. Now depending on what mail you plan to use, if it's Google, click on Google. If it's Microsoft, you can click on Microsoft. In my case, I'm using Hostinger, for which I have all the information right here. So for Hostinger webmail, you know, there is no mailer option. So I'm simply going to click on other SMTP. Now it's going to ask me to configure my mailer settings. Now all these credentials that you need to fill out should be given by your mailer. In my case, Hostinger provides me all this information right here. Now in your case it might be a little bit different and you might have to google a few things but the basics are going to be the same. So here within Hostinger we're going to use SMTP so outgoing server SMTP we need to use the host name and the port. So I'm going to copy this host name and the port is 465. I'm going to put these in SMTP host I'm going to put this in right here. All right so now for encryption depending on which one you plan to use SSL or TLS your hosting will have a different port for this. In my case I'm going to use SSL for which the port is 465 so I'm simply going to use this. Auto TLS option, you know, if your server supports TLS, then it'll be turned on automatically. You know, you can simply leave this enabled. Now let's go into authentication. For authentication, you'll have to put in your username and your password off the mail that you plan to use. For me, it's going to be this webmail right here. If I go into email accounts, I'll see this right here. So I'm simply going to put this as my username and whatever password I've set for it within my hosting, I'll type that in. All right, so there you go. The password's done. Now your from name, I'm simply going to type in SID. When users receive their mail, it's going to be from this name and your from email is is the email that users will receive their mail from. Now you can put this as anything really, but you know, make sure it's something valid. I'm going to put it the same as the username that I'm using. This is the email that your users will receive their mail from. Now you'll see two options right here, force from name and force from email. Basically, if you turn these settings on, regardless of whatever from name and whatever from email that you've set in other plugins within your website, every outgoing mail will be forced from this email and from this from name. But yes, I would recommend you turn these on. If you know what you're doing, you can turn these off off and you can do the rest but simply click on save and continue all right so here now it's going to ask you if you want to enable any of these features since we're using the free version we don't need to do much i'm simply going to click on save and continue all right so now here it's going to ask me whether i want to be a part of their mailing list and whether or not i want to share nonsense of plugin data if you want to do this you can i'm simply going to skip this step once that is done it's going to ask me to enter my license key we're using the free version so we don't need to do this now it's going to run some tests in the background to make sure everything is running properly and it seems everything is once that is done, you can click on finish setup and you should be good to go. So now let's send out a test email. I'm simply going to go in tools and here I can send out a test email. I'm going to use a temporary mail right here. Copy this paste it in like so, send email, and if everything is working properly, then the email should be sent. Success, there you go. The email should be delivered now. As you can see right here, I've received the mail. So now your SMTP has been set up. Every outgoing mail from your website will be sent via the mail that you've set up within SMTP, which is this in my case. So now my mails will no longer end up in spam, won't have the issue of you know not being delivered. Everything will be just fine. So yeah, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you very soon.